In Surah Tawbah, verse 51, there is a beautiful verse that I would recommend all of us to memorize. That when Allah puts you through a test, He will give you the means to overcome that test as well. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests you and He sends one difficulty down, along with that difficulty, He sends multiple ease. فَإِنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ يُسْرًا إِنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ يُسْرًا with every, yus, with every usr, there's going to be multiple yusrs. And this is the reality of Allah Azza wa Jal's testing, that even in His testing, His rahmah is manifested. And even in His trials, His mercy is indicated. Dear Muslims, our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it is authentic reported that whenever something happened that he did not like the situation was not in accordance with uh, how he wanted it to go he would say alhamdulillahi ala kulli hal Allah is thanked in all situations and when something happened according to what he liked he would say alhamdulillahi ladhi bi ni'matihi tatimmu salihat all praise is due to Allah because it is through his blessings that all good things come uh, to perfection but in both circumstances we say alhamdulillah in both circumstances. Alhamdulillahi ala kulli hal and alhamdulillahi ladhi bi ni'matihi tatimmu salihat. We always praise Allah. We constantly glorify His magnificence. We never ever complain except to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we always look at the bright side and we compare ourselves with those that are less fortunate so that we appreciate Allah's blessings on all of us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless me and you with and through the Quran. And may He make us of those who is verses they understand and applies halal and haram throughout our lifespan. I ask Allah's forgiveness. You as well ask Him for He is the Ghafoor and the Rahman. Alhamdulillah, we praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one and the unique. He alone do we worship and it is His aid that we seek. He is the Lord of the oppressed and the one who answers the call of the weak. In Surah Tawbah, verse 51, there is a beautiful verse that I would recommend all of us to memorize. Surah Tawbah, verse 51, is a verse that we should always think about at times of difficulty and at times of calamity. Say, announce, everybody should announce this in their hearts and upon their tongues. This is a proclamation for the Muslim Ummah. What is that proclamation? لَنْ يُصِيبَنَا إِلَّا مَا كَتَبَ اللَّهُ لَنَا Nothing shall ever happen to us except whatever Allah has decreed. This is an affirmation of Qadr. This is an affirmation that all that is in this earth is under the mulukiyya and the rububiyya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing happens except with His command. That affirmation is then followed by a proclamation. He is our Mawla. Qadr doesn't just come out of the blue. Qadr comes from our Rabb. And who is our Rabb? Our Rabb is our Mawla. And why did Allah choose the name Mawla in this verse? What has the term Mawla got to do with Qadr? Because Mawla means friend and protector. Mawla means the one who will take care of you. Allahu waliyyu alladheena amanu. Allah is the wali of the believers. So the one who puts us in any situation, قُلْنًا يُصِيبَنَا إِلَّا مَا كَتَبَ اللَّهُ لَنَا who is that one? Is he the one who doesn't like us? Is he the one who wants to punish us? He is our Mawla. Huwa Mawlana. How can our Mawla abandon us? How can our Mawla not help us? Whenever something happens, لَن يُصِيبَنَا إِلَّا مَا كَتَبَ اللَّهُ لَنَا Huwa Mawlana. So we affirm the Qadr. We link it to Allah being our Mawla. And then what is the Thamara? What is the fruit? What happens? وَعَلَى اللَّهِ فَلْيَتَوَكَّلِ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ Once you affirm Qadr and you link it to the wilaya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the automatic result is going to be what? Tawakkul. وَعَلَى اللَّهِ فَلْيَتَوَكَّلِ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ Tawakkul. I don't control anything. I don't have the power to do anything. Allah is the Mawla and Allah is in charge. And when Allah is Al-Wali and Allah is Rahman and Rahim, what do I have to worry about? I'll do what I can, but I'll leave the rest to Allah. And Allah is the Mawla. And whatever He has decreed is best. And whatever He has decreed, He will help me overcome it. This is what Iman does. This is the beauty of our faith, dear Muslims. It gives us sanity. 
humanity at times of insanity. It gives us comfort at times of discomfort. It makes sense in a very chaotic world. And we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the blessings of Iman and Islam. And we thank Allah for having guided us to this, for we would never be guided had it not been for His guidance. And I ask Allah's du'as, say ameen with me. Oh Allah, we ask you as the Rahman and the Rahim. Oh Allah, we ask you that you leave no sin of ours except that you have forgiven it and no debt of ours except that you have repaid it and no debt of ours except that you have forgiven it and no need of ours except that you have fulfilled it. Oh Allah, bless Islam and its people and the Ummah, make it blessed and peaceful and protect it from those who desire for it evil. You are the Qawi and the Aziz. We hope you will continue to enjoy our content. Don't forget to subscribe and by pressing the bell next to the subscribe button you will receive updates and notifications. Thank you.